guy going into this ball camp? What's, what's kind of the feeling? Uh, the feeling is, I mean, really it's excitement. It's, you know, been working for a long time, obviously, the last two years you're behind Dan. And really it's it's been going through the summer, getting better, and then going through this fall camp has really been something big and, and just clicking on all cylinders. Well, how'd you kind of attack this once Dan left and kind of going into spring ball and you knew that it was kind of, uh, you, you were the guy, but obviously there was still some competition potentially. Yeah. How'd you kind of attack things? Um, really, again, it's kind of cleaning up on the fine details. Um, you know, me and Blake have been pushing each other this whole, you know, off season and this fall camp, obviously, and you know, it's been doing well. Um, but I think for me, it's been sticking to those fine details, getting back to the basics, and getting everything right. When you haven't faced a you know a, real, a pressure kick in, in a game in three years, is is there uncertainty there at all? What, what it's going to feel like? It, you know, am I going to be you know, comfortable in that situation again because it's been so long? Anything like that? I mean, obviously, it's going to be a whole different thing because you know I come from a junior college first, and of course, it's nowhere near how it is here at Broncos Stadium, but. I think going out for the first kick, it's just one of those things where I can't get too much in my head. I just got to stick to what I know, and everything should work out fine. You've, uh, you know, as they put in a ton of work the last couple of years. Uh, you know, how much confidence can you build through that, through the preparation, through the practice, that, that you're ready to go? Yeah, I mean, really, it's what is what we work on off the field. You know, we all have our own little thing that we do, um, and I think it's just finding your comfort zone of what you know, what you know what to do, and then when the situation comes, it's basically you, you're just doing the same thing, same kick every time. What are some things that you are working on right now in fall camp to, to describe working on? Yeah, so right now, um, working on is more height on the ball. Obviously, I've, I've popped for it. I just get more height, and then um, just keeping the same rhythm with every kick, keep getting every kick the same, and then just working with Sean and Keen with getting everything right. Are you focusing on distance right now, or just more? No, I would say just focus on more height. Distance will come. Um, if I get the opportunity from a long range field goal, you know what happens. But everything right now is the focus is 45 and in. Coach uh, Riddle was saying yesterday that when he first got here that first spring, it seemed like he said you were kind of okay just being the backup. You're kind of going through the motions, and then he talked to you about it, and you came back last year for fall camp, kind of ready to challenge Dan, even though Dan was was probably the guy. What mentally uh, was it? Was it you know how was it at first, kind of knowing that, that Dan was probably the guy and trying to still you know stay sharp and try to improve? Yeah, I mean mentally, it's it's one of those things where. You know what are you going to do to keep getting better? And it's one of those things where if you take a step back, you know it could hurt yourself. You could find yourself even getting kicked off this team because you're not good enough, or you just keep attacking, trying to get better. And again, that was something that me and Coach Huff discussed when I first registered. And he's kind of someone that's been on my case ever since I've been here with getting better and keep pursuing something that I could accomplish in the end. What have you know? Where do you feel like you've gotten better during your time here? What's the biggest improvement? Oh, I would say uh, strength-wise, um, you know, Coach Pitt and them, they do a great job in the weight room, and especially with all the weights that we're doing and stuff like that. I mean, everything that I'm doing strength-wise has, has gotten a lot better. Oh, Stan was a very good kickoff guy as well. Yeah. Uh, how, how's your kickoff game? Kickoffs have been tremendously better. Yeah. I would say um, five to ten yards more just from getting stronger this offseason. What, uh, what is your goal on kickoffs? I mean, if I can try and match Dan this next year, if not, get close to that, and then I mean, this year and next year, just try and get better. Is it? I, I guess you know, are you going for more direction, more hang time? What what, what is kind of the, the focus on a kickoff for you? I mean, kickoff for me is just getting it to the back. That's all it comes down to: getting touch back any way you can. Uh, last year was it the Wyoming game? You had an extra point. Or yeah, an extra point to a nice little blizzard in my face. <laughs> yeah, was, did, I guess what, what happened there? I guess you just they just came over and said, all right, you're, you're going to get the next one if we score again? Or? Yeah, because it was like 51 to 7, whatever, and they said, you have the next one. And so, of course, I go out there, take a look at the field goal, and it starts snowing in my face. I'm like, I'm just kicking it straight today, I guess. <laughs> How'd it feel to get, get an extra point out of the way? I guess you, you can say you've at least been on the field going into this yeah, year. Yeah, no, I mean, it was really cool. Yeah. I mean, it was something that you, know, you could just take from here. But, it, I mean, the speed of the game is a whole lot different than practice. Um, you guys obviously have a little fun and specialist. You got the Twitter account. I mean, not not, not many players. I think we would flaunt that uh, you know they're messing around during while everybody yeah. else is in a meeting or whatever. But, but did everybody get a kick out of that around here. I love people love getting kicked. I mean, we obviously we get a hard time here and there for it. But I think it's one of those things where we know how to balance on being serious and also having fun because you know we can't watch hours of practice like most of our position players do because you know we have five minutes during practice. But when we do. You know, we watch it and then we just go out and have some fun. You're a former baseball player, right? Yeah. So, do you have the best swing of the ping pong? Oh, by far. I win home run derby every time. <laughs>
Is being a kicker kind of uh, a little bit difficult in the fact that sometimes you're the most scrutinized player on the field and other times you're maybe an afterthought? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's one of those things where, you know, you, you go about your business and people aren't going to notice who you are during the times where it's like a 20-yard field goal, stuff like that. But all of a sudden it comes down to where it's a game winner or something that everyone knows who you are. You know, at that point you become somebody or nobody or everybody hates you. But a lot of the times it's you're working behind the scenes and you're doing everything you can for the team. And this, this school obviously has had some history with some, some kicks. I mean, uh, you, I think I talked to you before in spring, you said you like those pressure kicks, those big situations. Yeah. I know you said, you're talking about having been in them in a couple of years, but what is it about those situations that if it does arise, you, you think you kind of embrace it and you'll be ready for it? I think it's one of those things where it's just all the attention's on you. You know, it comes down to whether you've prepared yourself for that situation or not, and basically if you're going to help out your team in the end. Practicing any fakes, or are you guys that's just going to crave the day to one day pull it and, and yeah, take it in the end time? <laughs> I mean, that's that's not to me. That's all up to Coach Reed.